Hi there. Welcome to Social Jumpstart. I'm Mike Walpert, and in this introductory video series, we're going to help you jumpstart your business into the world of social media marketing, and we're going to make it easy. Now, you're probably asking yourself as a business owner, why? Why should you take the time, effort, and energy and invest it into new media? Well, the answer is simple, to grow your business. We're going to take, for starters, the 10,000-foot overview, and then we're going to dig into the essentials and then take a step deeper and really show you how to make this work in your business. Throughout the series, we'll offer solid how-to in bite-sized chunks that you can turn into actionable items to grow your business. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the five stages of social media. Number one is listen. You want to listen to what's going on, the conversations that are happening online about your industry, about your product, your company, your brand, about you. You want to listen before you join in the conversation. Now, at the same time, first stage is to claim your social media profiles across the various social networks and make sure your brand identity is consistent from your blog or your website to your Facebook page to your Yelp listing, to your YouTube channel, to your Twitter account. You may not use all of these platforms, at least right now, but you want to make sure that you get your profile set up and that you keep your brand identity consistent on the internet. And number two, join the conversation. Here's where you begin to get your feet wet. You're on Facebook, so start reposting stuff that others in your industry or field have found interesting and put on their page. Repost it for your fans. If you're on YouTube and you see a video that you like, comment on it. If you're using Twitter, master the art of the retweet. Now, we'll dig into these details later in the series, but the beginning is joining the conversation, getting your feet wet, and kind of getting a feel for how it all works, because that makes it fun, and stuff that's fun is easy, and stuff that's easy is fun. Stage three, then, is where you begin to contribute to the conversation. You're the expert. You know what you're talking about. You're driven by passion. So begin to share that with the people that you're connected to in the world of social media. This could be a blog post that you put on Facebook. It could be a video that you post to YouTube and connect to your blog and Facebook. It could even be stuff that other people have written or talked about or done videos about that you find on the internet and you share with the people that you're connected to. This is adding value to the conversation. Really, it's a critical element of your success in social media marketing. Stage four, then, is engagement. This is where it really all begins to happen. You want to meet people on the social networks, bring them back to your blog, and get them to give you their email and first name. And that's real engagement. That's a relationship now that you control. You do that by offering a free ebook that they can download or inviting them to sign up to your newsletter. Give them a reason to stay in touch with you so you can stay in touch with them. That's where engagement happens in the world of social media. And then stage five in social media marketing is conversion. This means taking prospects and converting them into customers. Taking customers and converting them into brand evangelists, people who buy more, buy more often, and help others to understand your story. At this point, you've earned it. You've done all this stuff. You've told people who you are, what you are, why you do what you do. Folks in social media have probably had the opportunity to hear others say what a great job you do and how happy they are to have bought from you. So you've earned the right to conversion. Here's where we turn social into sales. And this is where it all happens. Converting prospects, people you meet online, into customers. So there you go. At this point, I hope you have a good feeling for why social media and social media marketing is so critical to the future growth of your business.
As this video series continues, we will dig a little bit deeper and learn a little bit more and begin to take specific actionable items and put them into play to make social media marketing a factor in your business and give your business a social jumpstart.